Jesse, um, give me a call back as soon as you can. I was violated last night, and there's a bigger problem. Uh, there's a, a lot bigger problem. You're supposed to be my best friend. When you see my name come up on your phone, answer it, please. Uh, just give me a call back as soon as you can, so I can tell you about it later. I'm glad you decided to answer your damn phone. I feel uncomfortable sitting in my own house. You call me back three hours later? Yeah, violations occurred. We ended up at a bar uh, getting belligerent. The first 45 minutes we were in the door, we were rating women from 1 to 10, as we always do. Uh, very few tens, um, plenty of sevens, which is always a good sign. And karma, dude. I mean, it's funny how karma just jumps up and bites you right in the ass. I was standing there, um, woman walks up to me, and she raided me, and I didn't even know it. She raided me from one to 10, and I had no clue. I was just thinking it was my Sex Panther cologne, or it could have had something to do with the fact that I had been sponsored by Crown Oil for about three hours prior to being there. At 15 minutes into a conversation, she was shooting me bedroom eyes. I couldn't believe it. This beautiful, recently divorced 42-year-old woman was trying to take me home, and I was eating that shit up. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Divorced? Did she just tell you that? Did she lure you home and sneak you into the basement where you found her husband standing there in a thong with some lubriderm? It puts the lotion on. <laughs> really, bro, can you take this serious for one minute, please? Okay, Animal Tamer. Go ahead with your story. We're sitting there, and she keeps getting closer and closer and closer and closer. I mean, we're practically sitting in each other's lap. It's like a X-rated version of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood or some shit. Um, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And then, out of nowhere, her hands just start playing music on... Hold up a minute. She was flicking your jewels in public, man. You have the worst undiagnosed case of ADD I have ever seen. You called me. I'm just trying to get a visual here. Sorry. So, as her hands are wandering all over the goods, she leans over, and I'm thinking she's going to whisper something sexy, right? She tells me that her 12-year-old son has the same shirt that I am wearing. Stop laughing. <laughs> I told you about shopping at Baby Gap, dude. They make that shit one size fits all for the family. Oh, man. He's not a tot. Twelve is definitely not a tot. Okay, that's just weird. That's not even relevant. Do you want me to finish or not? I don't need your freaking underlying commentary to my story. It is my story. Just get to the part where she gets naked. It's the little things I remember, man. In the bar, I couldn't really, I couldn't really smell her because we were in a bar. When we got back to her place. She smelled like a an Avon scratch and sniff. Serious question. Serious question. 
did you did you scratch and sniff? <laughs> I do have other friends that I can call and vent to. I figured you would have been a little bit more understanding of the situation. Continue, you mighty cougar hunter. Continue. Okay, so this was my first cougar. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. Just imagine if you took cotton candy and stuffed it in a fishnet. That's, uh, we'll just say in the buttocks area um, for a 42 year old woman clothes can be kind of deceiving deceiving shit I don't even know if I want to sit here and listen to you finish this story oh no it gets much better in a worse way next thing I know she's doing a strip tease but Problem is, is she's already naked, or very damn close to it. She starts stripping my clothes off. I felt like a, a damn child's my size Barbie. She didn't even, she didn't even take the time to unbutton the buttons on my shirt. And when the buttons fell off that shirt, they sounded like a damn gun going off. Bro, she wasn't a cougar. She was a lioness, and one that hadn't been laid in a while. No shit. But I was committed. I couldn't remember how I got there. And as bad as it may sound, I, I wanted the bragging rights. Bragging rights? Are you serious? Shut up. Okay, so fast forward, the deed's done, right? I feel like Caesar, I mean, I just, I feel like I have just conquered something, right? So she gets up, leaves, and she's gone for, I don't know, she's gone for a few minutes, and when she comes back, she tells me that the guest bed is ready. My God! Jesse, the next morning she cooked me Mickey Mouse pancakes. She cooked me Mickey Mouse pancakes, man, but I had to sleep in a guest bed. And as, and as screwed up as this story is, I still haven't grasped this life-changing, violated dilemma that you went through. Funny, yes, but violated? I don't know. Um, this morning when I got home and emptied my pockets... I still had two rubbers. Damn, dude! Well, the clap takes 30 days, and a kid takes nine months. We'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to wait it out.